way, follow me on Twitter, at Bach underscore TV. It's the best way to figure out what I'm doing. I don't know if you want to give yourself a shout-out before we go live here. I will. At Superbig is my tweeters. You can follow me on the tweeters. And uh, I, I tweet pretty often there. So, at Superbig. And uh, I, I believe we are going live here. As the, the GLHFs go out, record demos, and we are live here on Cash. As Reflex Gamers is going to be starting out on T. Hell's Gamers on CT. Bomb is going to be in the hands of Prey and Spray. They're going to be coming out onto the A-Bomb site here. Karma is going to find the first kill there with the USPS there. And uh, Get Brent Nerds, great name by the way, finds a kill. And Prey and Spray also, so it's down to a 3 on 4. Bomb is going to be ahead. Go ahead and get down onto the ground. It's going to be money in the pockets of Reflex Gamers here. As Get Brent, with that USPS, is firing away here. And uh, that's going to be Giants. What's his full name here? Uh, I'm, I'm, Giant 745 is going to fight it. And it's down all down to Koth here. Two on one situation. Ooh. And wow, get Brim with that USPS. Beautiful headshots. And that's going to be the very first round here to Reflex Gamers. Now, that was nasty. That little shot over the forklift. That's one of the hardest parts about playing on cash. That section of the A bomb site behind the forklift is super annoying because bullets don't really penetrate quite right. A lot of people have been saying for a long time we need to just get rid of the forklift and just put some boxes there so we have a better idea of what's happening because it's really easy to like get into a duel with somebody behind forklift and hit nothing. In the meantime, though, Hell's Gamers is going to stack the A garage, and here comes the push. Kevin's going to get one that thicker is down top, connecting on to spray and pray. Or Prey and Spray for that matter. Get Bent Nerds gets dropped by Giants and it's now a 4 versus 2. So quite an eco round here from Hell's Gamers. Catching the uh, T's a little bit off guard. Reflex now. White Thunder and Dark. They do have the bomb in hand but nice play from Hell's Gamers. Already rotating around towards that B bomb site. There's a man over in Checker. Cough in mid by the Sandbags. So definitely a winnable round if uh, Reflex Gamers can get this bomb plant over on B. But they're going to push right up mid and they're going to go up right on top of Koth who does get dropped. But look at this, White Thunder down to 19, taken out by Karma of Pain. Last man standing is Dark and he's going to get gunned down by Queezy with that 5-7. So a nice eco there from Hell's Gamers. Three still up on the board, able to get two guns in their hands. And now Reflex is going to be forced to that awkward double eco and potentially put Hell's Gamers up 3-1. to one. <laughs> Had to mute my mic there for a second as my dogs are going berserk out in the uh, the living room area. So, you guys got a chance to hear that. But yeah, very nice eco round for Hell's Gamers. 1-1 one to one will be your score. As we head into this next round here, Hell's Gamers is going to go ahead and uh, do a mix, very mixed buy up here. I see a Famas P90, uh, PP Bazoon, as uh, Reflex Gamers with the Glocks. The Glock train here is uh, slowly pulling into the A station now as the bomb is in the hands of Prey and Spray. Moving over by Squeaky here. We have two members of Hell's Gamers on the A bomb site. And uh, one's going to be in mid. The other two are over by the B. As uh, looks like Reflex Gamers are playing very passively here, very slowly. Waiting for the waiting for the right opportunity to come out here with the Glock train. Smoke's going to go ahead and clear up over on to the A main. They're going to go ahead and push out here. One's going to be behind Forklift. With that PvP zone, he's going to find one. Can he get a second here? He finds a second. Very nice there. And, uh, yeah, wow. That was a very quick round here. As Kevin, the kid, is going to find the last two kills. And that's going to be Hell's Gamers up another round here, 2-1. to one. And that was the power of the Bison and Famas versus unarmored opponents. The Bison, I think that's what what reflex gamers was going for when they bought it was hoping that hell's gamers would have a full ego no armor but i think that hell's gamers ego armored so they bought pistols and full armor and the bison just sucks against armor so they were able to get the kills there and pick up the gun which is just money in the bank i think it's 350 per kill with the smg i could be wrong that's a lot of money though if you can get a couple of those kills chained together it might be even more than that um it might be 500 I, I could be wrong. I can't remember. I know that a uh, shotgun is 900. We are going to see Bent Nerds, though, coming around the bend. Going to get a dink shot onto Queasy. Queasy trading him out, though. So he's down to 14 HP. Takes another. 
and a third. So not a bad play from him. Dark finally polishes him off. Koth is going to drop out of vents, take down White Thunder. It's all down to Dark. Last man standing in the checkerboard room, and Koth is going to take him down with that SMG. So another round on the board for Hell's Gamers, making it 3-1. to one. But we're going to see the first full buy versus full buy round here, as Reflex is going to definitely afford a huge buy up. Multiple players sitting at 7k. And Giants foolishly holding on to that P90 and body armor. No head armor. Uh, not really sure what he's thinking here. If he uh, has 9K, he should be buying up and tossing that little uh, P90 away. Especially because they are going to have AKs a, uh, a plenty over on Reflex Gamers. So maybe a bit of a misplay here from him. I'm really glad that you pointed it out because I was, I was just about to say, keeping that P90, but I mean, he could be just saving that cash, which is kind of a smart, but, smart idea. But that P90, you know, that Pro 90 spray, who knows? We'll see how, if it, if it pays off for him. We'll see in the long run here. 3-1, to one, your scoreline, round 5 here on cash. We got Reflex Gamers versus Hell's Gamers. And that's going to be Giants with that P90. It pays off for him and uh, with spades there, taking down Kyrus. He's Icarus. trying to save that Icarus. cash on cash. He's trying to save the cash on cash, yes. Uh, the pun wheel is spinning there for Bach there. That's cash on cash. <laughs> As Gimbit finds one, but actually, and that's going to be, uh, who is that? That's going to be Koth, is going to answer right back, taking him down. So it's down to a three on four. Bomb is going to be in the hands of Prince Spray. White Thunder with a beautiful AK headshot into Giants, down to a three on three. They have control of the B-bomb site. They're going to go ahead and get the bomb plant as Koth is just waiting patiently outside of B-bomb site. Kevin's going to find one. Kevin's going to find a second. Over by Checkers, it's down to one last member of Reflex, and Kevin's going to find him also. Very nice 3k by him. Bomb is going to go ahead and get defused, and that's going to be yet another round for Hell's Gamers. Based on what I'm seeing right now, it's uh, not a matter of which team is, is better at aiming. I mean, something you'll learn about a lot of the gaming communities is that all the players in the gaming community can aim. They understand the maps. They have proper map knowledge, awareness, etc. It's their team play. And right now, Hell's Gamers playing more as a team. Peeking together, beating out peaks. They're more cohesive. There's more synergy amongst their players. Whereas Reflex Gaming is playing more of a pick and roll strategy. They're trying to get players and they're kind of disconnected. So they, they might get a pick, but somebody's halfway across the map. It's not really working out. So maybe they can kind of collectively get back together. Try and make it more of a team-based game here. And it looks like they're doing so as they stack three in a garage. And that's one watching the flank from behind. That's Prey and Spray. One man over in the uh, squeaky door area. That's Bent Nerds. But there is a three-man stack over on A. So this could backfire horribly for Reflex Gamers. As long as Hell's Gamers plays this patiently, there's a man on... I guess it would be on Rafters. I can't really see. Yeah, he's up, up in the Rafters. And there was a man, Toxic Barrels. That is Cop. He's going to toss a nade in. Kevin the Kid right around the corner from that squeaky door as Get Bent Nerds is going to pop it open. He's going to take the fuel, and he's going to come out the victor. Bent Nerds is dropped by the AK of Kevin, so now they're down a man trying to get this push. Kevin gets another one. That's Dark down. Icarus trading him out, though, so it's a four versus three. Bombs in that A garage, and Nades rain out as the bullets. Koth and Karma are going to get kills there. White Thunder and Prey and Spray down, but Icarus getting the trade out. He's the only man with the kill this round for Reflex Team. He's hiding behind the fortress, not able to pull off the clutch there as Giants. Rushing around that corner is going to take him down. So that's another round there for Hell's Gamers. 5-1 to one coming into round number 7. And Reflex Gamers got to be scratching their heads a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Very nice round by Hell's Gamers there. 5-1. to one. And uh, it's they have money to buy up here. And it looks like they're going to go ahead and do that. As the Giants smartly has 10 Gs. As, as well as Koth over on Hell's Gamers there. Going to go ahead and pick up some rifles. As uh, we head into this next round. Bomb is going to be in the hands of Icarus. And they're going to be over by mid right now. Giants is going to go ahead and flash in there. It was a pretty terrible flash. And it looks like he got blocked by a wall there. He's going to go ahead and get sprayed a little bit. A down to 87 HP there. Very nice spray in the mid area. As uh, we head into this next round here. And that's going to be Kevin pushing through Squeaky. He's going to find Prey and Spray. And Karma also finding the kill of himself. For himself anyway. And it's all down to a 2 on 5 here. As Kevin finds yet another kill, Icarus will get tagged a little bit down to 78. He does have the bomb in his hands. He's going to go ahead and peek out again get Kevin. He's going to find a second kill in the Karma. It's oh, down to giants. a three. Giants, giants, giants. Down to a two-on-two two now as Icarus 
is the only one left alive here. He does have bomb. He is in a main. Here we have Koth behind him. And Koth is just going to peek through that truck, find that kill, and that's going to be yet another round for Hell's Gamer. 6-1. to one. Giants had a huge flank there. Had that player back on uh, the stairs by a garage. And he could have taken him out, and he just couldn't find the shot. Couldn't get the recoil under control, and that was Icarus. Icarus ended up taking out two. And then he took out Giants. So Giants really... Uh, dropping the ball a little bit there. Unfortunately, not able to come up with that frag, but his team still takes the round. 6-1 is the scoreline coming into round number 8. We're going to see an eco here from Reflex, and it's going to just be a balls-to-the-wall rush into the B-bomb site, pushing through the smoke. Nade reigns in, taking down White Thunder and Dark below at 70 HP. White Thunder at 61. Dark was down to 50, but he's dropped by Koff. Queasy sitting in the, uh, I believe that is over by the generator with that AWT. is going to get two bent nerds down as well. White Thunder dropped Pray and spray the last man standing with only a tech nine in hand, no armor, and he's going to get bum rush there. Giants able to take him down with a P90. Uh, but something I want to mention about the last round, if you watch Hell's Gamers play it, when they pushed into main garage, there was a player over by quad, and he actually flashed his man who was sitting forklift into garage. So he tossed the flash to a pops right when it gets through the door, and that man uh, forklift could just peek a garage. He got one frag and then backed out, and then the man who threw the flash. Uh, got the man who was chasing from around behind the box. So it was a nice team play from Hell's Gamers. And again, I mentioned about the fact that they are playing more cohesively as a team. I just noticed for Reflex Gamers that uh, their pictures are all Power Rangers. Yes, they are. <laughs> That's just really awesome to me. I don't know why. But 7-1 to one is your scoreline here. Koth is going to go ahead and spray and will not find the kill. Icarus We'll find him. Pray and Spray will do just that, though. We'll find Giants already down to a 3-on-5. This is going so far good in the hands of Reflex. However, Icarus and Dark are very down, low on HP. Icarus with 7, Dark with 16. As uh, the bomb will be in the hands of Icarus as they slowly make, away their, or make their way around to the A bomb site. A was actually completely open here. But the CTs are slowly making their way back over. But they will have control of the bomb site. They will get the plant. And it looks like, oh, there's a player coming in an A main here. And White Thunder had the perfect opportunity to stop him out, but no, Karma will drop him. They're going to go ahead and smoke Karma in there. As it still is a 3-on-3 three three as Queasy finds one. Icarus will find one and Prey also, so it's all down to Karma. But he gets sprayed through smoke by Prey and Spray. And that's going to be finally a round. In the, it's going to swing things around for Reflex here, hopefully. And they will pick up a round 2-7 to seven your scoreline. And look at Prain Spray somehow sitting at 9k. But he is going to pick up that op for a teammate. Uh, and if they lose this round, a couple of players won't be able to buy. Uh, Bent Nerds and White Thunder will both be a little bit too broke. But they have three players who have a lot of money stacked up that should be able to drop for them. So the, the uh, loss bonus was really starting to stack up there for Reflex as they lost, I believe, six no they lost seven in a row. That was their first round in seven rounds. So that's full loss bonus that they had accumulated, which explains their money. So things very slow here on this 10th round. As it uh, looks like Reflex Gamers are going to go ahead and just really try to play things a little bit slower here. Maybe for picks. But they are all gathered around the A bomb site. And it looks like Hell's Gamers is actually stacking a few players over here. And they now know there that the Squeaky is open. And that's going to be Get Bent. It will be tagged and actually dropped there by Giants with that op. Karmas also dropped there on HP. Kevin the Kid will be... Uh, killed by Icarus so it's down to a three on four bomb will be picked up by White Thunder and they're still trying to take over this a bomb site Bach. yeah it seems like they're committed here if there's a man in sight he's gonna get dropped I believe that was karma and so it's now a three versus two the two on the CT side gonna have to retake Conth and Queasy Queasy with an off cop flanking from a main he's gonna get a kill in Icarus so it's down to White Thunder and Prain Spray trying to defend this Queasy on top of the electric box does spot that man out over by Quad but not able to find the shot Molly rains out Prain Spray's gonna have to run he's gonna get the first one gets the second one as well a 2k for him at the end of the round making it three total on the round the 2k for Icarus as well so that's two in a row for Reflex so they're starting to find some bit of rhythm here, some bit of momentum. Maybe they've found the chink in the armor for Hell's Gamers, and that seems to be the A bomb site. So we'll see if they commit themselves to that area again, or if they just go all out on B and try and catch Hell's Gamers off guard. Definitely going to have to see there. 7-3, to three, your scoreline. Round 11 here on Cash. Again, we want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Battle of Communities here, hosted by Edge Gamers. 
And uh, we got some. We had a very first awesome match there. And now we are on this second match Hills Gamers versus Reflex Gamers. 7 to 3, your current score line as we head into this next round. And they are working that A bomb site, it looks like, again. Slowly but surely, we have two pushed up in Squeaky here. And we have two members of Hell Gamers just kind of trained on that position. As Bomb will be in the hands of Prey and Spray. As everything is just playing really slow here. Smokes will go ahead and come out. From, uh, reflex. They should be playing slow. Definitely, definitely. Molly coming out and sm getting that uh, squeaky door there. Get Vent Nerds with that up. We'll find one dart also, but Karma answering right back. Kills coming out left and right. Already down to a three on four. And it looks like Reflex Gamers will take control of that A bomb site. Yeah, Karma here in the site behind Red Box. Tries to get that kill on the man jumping in main. Couldn't catch him. There's a man squeaking over the A to BP. That is Bent Nerds. Gets dropped by Karma, making it a 3 versus 3. And these T's are lit. 31 on White Thunder. Even less on Dark. He gets taken down. Brain Spray playing Quad Box, getting two Giants and Queasy and making it a 1 on 1. It's now Karma of Pain facing the Ace. And oh my god, Brain Spray with the shot. So unfortunately, Karma is not going to get that Ace. That's another round for Reflex here. Seven to four, so they've got to be thrilled at this point. If they can make it five rounds, that's a healthy T side on cash. And then they're more than okay, more than equipped to take this round, this uh, map back and potentially uh, mount a comeback on the CT side. Yeah, I, you know, honestly, I wasn't expecting this. Hell's Gamers just seemed to have the momentum and had the, uh, the teamwork to really push this into maybe a 16-3 game like we saw last time. But it looks like uh, Reflex Gamers found something that uh, Hell's Gamers weren't aware about. And that's their A-bomb side play is not that strong. Icarus will go ahead and take down Koth there. He'd be boosted in mid. Praying Spirit also finding the kill. And Hell's Gamer on his save round here just getting dropped left and right. I think the big thing that uh, Reflex Gamers found is their confidence. And prior to this round, they probably were starting to feel like they weren't. they didn't really have what it took to win. And they were just losing duels. They were playing very disconnected. I think they kind of gathered their minds back together and said, you know, we need to play this as a team. CS is not a game of one versus five, which is what a lot of teams do when they start to lose. And something you'll notice a lot in matchmaking. When you have a top player in matchmaking, nine times out of ten, if you're down by a decent deficit, that man is going to take off and try and do whatever he wants by himself. He's never going to stick with the team. He's always going to go alone. It never works. It, it just doesn't. There's five players on your team for a reason, so you got to use all five. And a lot of times when you spread out and and uh, thin yourselves out, you end up winning duels but not rounds. So I think Reflex Gamers started to realize that, brought themselves back together, and now they've been able to put five rounds on the board, even forcing Hell's Gamers, who had a serious mountain of cash, into their only eco. So that's pretty impressive. It's a decent comeback. We'll see if they can keep it going. If they could keep this going and go 8-7, that would be massive because not only does it set the tempo for T-side, sets the tempo for their CT side as well because they went from being down seven rounds to one to then taking the half 8-7, that would be huge. But even at this point, if they lose 9-6, 10-5, 8-7, whatever the score ends up being, they've, they've gotten back their confidence a little bit and they might be able to keep the comeback going on the CT side. And Koth being boosted there in mid once again. Prey and Spray is going to go ahead and shut him down. That's two times that that has not worked for him. And this is starting out very badly for Hell's Gamers. But Karma is going to go ahead and answer back there. Taking down Get Bent. And that's down to a 4 on 4. Prey and Spray very tight down to 44 HP. But he will have the bomb in his hands. They're all by the A bomb site once again. As Giants is setting in mid with that N4 very he's setting up for a possible flank if they go ahead and decide to take that A bomb site. And it does look like they're opting to take the A bomb site here as they have three pushing over towards main, but Bomb is hanging out in mid. And that is their Lurk Man, which is Frame Spray. He's done this a lot and it's been very successful, but right now he has the bomb and he can't really afford to do this because if he gets caught out, that could be devastating. But this could be a fake. We see three men over on A, and they're making a lot of noise. There's a man in mid, and the man B has already rotated out, so this fake is working out. I'm not sure why they decided to do it, though. And see, he's going to be able to get this bomb planted, and the one man, the only one able to stop this potentially, was over in mid. He's going to flank the seven man, which is White Thunder, and White Thunder going to get dropped by him. That's Giants getting the frag, but bomb gets planted over on B. So the bomb does go down, but you have to question the play as they had more than enough players up. It was a four versus four. There was not a time to fake, was not an eco round. Maybe they're just trying to get cute, 
see what they can pull off here. Praying Spray has been the man of the match right now, sitting as the top guard gets one. Gonna go for the peak, and unfortunately, all three were there. So that's gonna be a round on the board for Hell's Gamers, and a much needed one at that, as they were starting to lose some of their own confidence after dropping five straight. Or actually, that would be four straight to Reflex Gamers. So getting the things back in uh, in order here is Hell's Gamers going up 8-5, coming into round 14. But we're going to have full buys from both squads off on the hands of Get Bent Nerds. This is a big buy here from Reflex Gamers. They have multiple players who will be completely broke if they lose this. However, Prain Spray seriously stacking that cash, as is Icarus. So they might be able to buy some players some guns, go for a bit of a force buy and try and take the last round with uh, some pizzazz. I'm sorry, okay, yes. I, got, I gotta say something. Were you just typing and talking? Because you were just typing going... Yeah, because Bok TV is... T you just said something chat, but you were you were talking that whole time. Like, yes, you were... Yes, I was doing that. You were talented as hell, man. I could not do that. <laughs> One of the things that I do that I'm really good at is casual commentary, and I'll actually play and commentate myself in the third person as long as... I, and I cast everyone else on the server, too. And people always ask me if I'm a player or if I'm actually just watching. But I'm, I'm playing. When people watch me doing casual commentary, I'm, I'm playing. That's insane, man. That's talent right there. Talent there. And that's why he casts for the big boys. So, get bent with that op. We'll go ahead and take down Giant Steric. Opening up the round here in favor for Reflex Gamers. As your scoreline 8-5 to five here as we head into this 14th round. Boom will be in the hands of Icarus as they make it away. And look at this. This is great information for Hell's Gamers as they went ahead and pushed through A. And they're going to be on the flank now. As it's down to a 4 on 3 though as Icarus finds one. And with that off, that's get bent. He has an opportunity to get two kills here. He finds one. Can he get a second? He will. And it's all down to Koth. Unfortunately, what turned out to be a great move by Hell's Gamers has turned and backfired on them. As Bomb is taken away and Koth is the LMS. And the, see how they're doing on money here. Eh, well, Not too good. late now. Yeah, it's the last Not round of the first half here coming up. And they are broke. So most Kevin, of them are broke. Kevin, Kevin calling out good half in the 14th round. I guess that's uh, making them feel a little bit foolish. But yeah, they are definitely broke. Hell's Gamers forced to eco with multiple players. Obviously, they're going to force buy here. Karma picking up an M4 and body armor. Giants picking up an M4A1S and body armor. And Queasy, the only man with a real legitimate full buy. He's got the M4 and body armor and head armor with a smoke. They do have two kits, so they can allow the bomb to be planted. But you can see they're going to try and play this a little more aggressively. Put those five sevens into uh, an aggressive position. Wise play it. Pistols don't really fare too well from a long distance. So <laughs> what's interesting is a uh, is Pran Spray with that Negev over there. Kind of being a little cheeky. Kind of buying a little cheeky by there. 8-6, to six, last round of the first half. You know what? It's a fun tournament. Let's go ahead and, you know, try some cheeky stuff. I can understand, sort of. But uh, Bomb will be in that, his he hands. he's facing an ego. So... Why yeah, not? that's a good point. And it's kind of a half ego here. So we'll see what they do here as they're making a way over by the B bomb site. As Karma is the only one over there on A, he's just kind of sitting there. And he's going to go ahead and rotate over as he senses this is going to be a, go ahead and be a B push. As they are going to go ahead and make their way in here. And Hell's Gamers actually stacked it. So this is going to be a great round for them. As uh, it's a hold down to White Thunder here, and he will get to, he'll get two kills to stat them pat pat them stats. But <coughs> excuse me, as my throat wanted to die there. Not, but yeah, that's a great, that's a, that's amazing ha uh, half for Reflex there. Yeah, you know, nine six is not terrible for the T side on uh, on cash. We're used to seeing top tier teams play it, and when top tier teams play it, it's like a ten five map. Um, it used to be a lot more T-sided than it is now, but I think that's because CT teams just figured out how to play it better. But yeah, I, definitely a good half from Reflex. They really wanted that round, though, because if they win this pistol round, they would have been up 10-8. Instead, they'll make it a tie score. So that's a big difference if they could get the first three rounds and chain them together. But we are going to see Icarus start things off nice with a headshot on the Giants. Crane Spray able to drop Kevin. So it's already down to three for Hell's Gamers. That is not ideal. Crane Spray going to get another one. That's Karma down. Cop responds with a kill on to get bent nerds. White Thunder drops by Queen. Or Queasy, for that matter. I don't know why I said Queen. Crane Spray finally taken down, so his rampage is over. Queasy Ooh. and Cop going to combine for kills here. Dark 
is down. It's all down to Icarus. So a round that started out heavily in favor of Reflex, all of a sudden spinning on its axis here, and Hell's Gamer is up two versus one. 50 seconds left on the round. Plenty of time here. They're going to go for that plant, and the man CT is going to push towards Generator, and he's going to get caught out. Squawk does win there. Queasy going to take the duel, and that's a round on the board for Hell's Gamers. What they wanted to do, starting off strong on the T side of Cash. So picking up where they left off early in the last map, or in the last half. They they started out really strong, went up 7-1, then they started to lose uh, a couple of rounds. They picked things back up again, ended up finishing out the map. Uh, with uh, two more rounds, making it 9-6. But they definitely could have camped that first half off better, so they're trying to start out like they did in the last half here and go up the victors early. Giants going for a duel in mid, though, not coming out the victor with that scout, so a lot of information for the CTs right now as they're on a full ego. So P90, a couple scout buys in there, a glil and an AK for Hell's Gamers here going into the 17th round, 10-6 to year scoreline. As uh, we're waiting for things to kick off here, Kevin's going to go ahead and spray Icarus down to 25 with that P90. So very nice opening uh, damage for him at least. As uh, they're going to be in the mid area looking to uh, take mid control, which they do have. Icarus will still be in Z, although he's tagged down to 25. Dark is also tagged down to 44 for Reflex Gamers. Giants is up in Vents right now. Over by the B-bomb site with that scout. It's just still taking over mid. And they're going to be slowly making their way over toward the A-bomb site. Karma of Pain with that uh, Galil will go ahead and find a very nice opening kill there. As White Thunder answers right back there. P90 is going to go ahead and come around. And spray down two players for a Reflex. And he's going to go ahead and get the bomb plant. And it's going to be two members alive for Reflex Gaming. Uh, at this point, they're just trying to get some kills. Bet Nerds is going to take down Queasy. But he's going to get dropped by Koth. But still a decent eco from Reflex. Taken down two. And they almost got Giants, who was dropped down low. And uh, one thing I usually uh, recommend against is scout buy after a win. And the reason I recommend against it is because it's really easy when you have the scout to get rushed by a 5-7 or a P250 and get caught off guard. You have to hit that first shot and hit it well. Even still, the amount of time it takes you to switch from the scout to your pistol and then repeat. That man is just going to be coming at you full bore with that uh, P250 or, or CZ, 5.7, whatever he's got in hand. So I don't necessarily like seeing players pick up the scout in the second round unless they're on the eco side. If you're on an anti-eco, the scout is probably the worst weapon you could have in your hand. Definitely. I agree 100% here. And Reflex, uh, they showed a very strong uh, last portion of that first half here. And we're going to have to see what they can do here. They're still on an eco, just trying to get up some money to full buy here. As Icarus is going to spot one being boosted. He looks away at the wrong moment and gets tagged down to 18. By uh, by that, I believe it was a scout. As we have uh, two scouts over there for Hell's Gamer still. A P90 in the hands of Kevin the Kid. Again, 11-6 to 6 your scoreline. Again, guys, we always want to say, or we continue to say thanks for uh, tuning in to this awesome community tournament here. As Hell's Gamers taking on Reflex Gamers, White Thunder is going to go ahead and get dropped by Kevin. Queasy with that scout is going to find another one. And it's all down to a 3 on 5. Bomb is going to go down on the A bomb site. And Kevin with that P90 is just going to spray and find another kill. And just like that, it's all down to get bit nerds. And he's going to be making his way through mid. He's going to come around the corner, find one kill. But in the end, Giants is going to go ahead and spray him down. And that's going to be another round for Hell's Gamers. Only losing one player that round. Yeah, not losing more than one is huge, but getting that kill at the end there also helped. They did take, I think, a Galil out of the hands of Karma, so that's two grand. It's just gone. You, you know, you can't get that money back. Obviously, they have plenty of money to buy, but you can never underestimate money in this game. Like, yes, they have the money to buy right now, but if they lose this round, they are $2,000 less in the kitty than they would have had if he kept that Galil. And so money... you have to always be thinking about the future. It's The economy in CS is never about the round you're in. It's about the round three rounds from now. Money is basically the meta game of CS. Absolutely. It's, it's so much more important than the average player understands. So we're hitting. I could I could like write a book on oh. CS:GO economy and how important it is. Yeah, if you're new to CS, you really want to pay attention to how to manage your money, uh, when to buy, not to buy. It's such a huge thing in competitive CS. So heading into this 19th round here, Dark's gonna find one. It's down to a three on two. Igress and Dark tag down very low on HP. 
over on Reflex's side. Bomb is going to be down mid, though. They have Bomb. And they're covering right now, but Koth, with that scout, is going to find a nice headshot into Prey and Spray. So it's down to a three on three. Three on two, and then three on one. As uh, Dark is going to go ahead and take down Karma, and Giants is the only one left. He is in A main here with a Galil coming around. There's going to be a player on Rafters. He's going to go ahead and drop him, but in ultimately... White Thunder with that M4A1S will drop him, and that's going to be a round for Reflex Gamers. Yeah, big 3K there from Dark, and he dropped the bomb in probably one of the worst spots on this map. He drops it on Highway. The only spot that I think is really worse is in the vents if you're already in B, because you can't get back up unless you have two players, and it's an awkward boost. Like, CTs can just sit outside in mid and just wait for you to try and come in. But Highway's a really tough position to regain control of once you've lost it, so... A little bit of a misplay there from Hell's Gamers. We're going to be seeing them on the eco here, and we got Tech Nines across the board. Three with full armor, nade smokes, flashes, and the like. And they're just playing it slow. They're not going to rush it. They're going to play the time. They've got a minute and 20 seconds to get that bomb in sight and planted. So definitely just playing that patient game. Unfortunately, though, this could be a bit of a struggle as Praying Spray's in heaven. There's a man in sight. Molly's going to rain out from Praying Spray, and he's going to try and peek. Unfortunately, Flash is going to rain out. Get Ben Nerf takes down one. But he's going to get overwhelmed here. Koth takes him down. Queasy in checkerboard. Knows there's a man events. Goes for the kill and does get it. That makes it a three versus four here. Queasy down to four HP. Giants was low as well. That's why he gets taken out by that nade from White Thunder. Queasy able to pick up a FAMAS, but he's got four health. So we'll see if he can do anything with it. Unfortunately, no. Dark's going to take down Karma. Queasy dropped by Pran Spray. The last man standing was Koth, and is dropped in on by White Thunder. So another round for Reflex Gamers here, and they're starting to, to mount that comeback a little bit. They're putting rounds together there. They're up two in a row there. That's a big thing. And uh, they did put Hell's Gamers on an eco, but it seems like right now Hell's Gamers is playing more of the team game like we've been mentioning. So unless... Reflex gamers can tighten up the, the, the screws a little bit here and really refine their, their meta game and their play. It should be Hell's Gamers taking more rounds and more rounds. So what we saw in those last two rounds is exactly that. Reflex gamers really coming together as a team yet again. So it seems like they realize that there's a bit of a problem with the way they're playing the map and they're trying to fix that problem right now. And both teams will be on a full buy here as we head into the 21st round of this match, Hell's Gamer versus Reflex Gamers on cash. As uh, we're waiting to see what happens, it looks like the bomb is going to be making its way through Squeaky over here, over towards the A bomb site. They have two members of Reflex Gamers over there. As we find Karma with the bomb in hand here. Nice nade coming in, doing a little bit of damage into A main. As we're just slowly waiting here for things to happen. As White Thunder is actually going to get tagged by an op down to 26 HP. They're going to go ahead and open up and start to execute down onto the A bomb site here. Karma is going to see somebody up on Rafters there. They're going to smoke it. Oh, great smokes by them also. And they're going to start dropping players here. It's already down to a 3 on 4. Make that a 4 on 2 and the bomb will go down. So very nice play here by Hell's Gamers. Yeah, textbook A take there. Smoking off the cross between Red Box and uh, Forklift there which protects them from CT spawn. And then they smoked out uh, the rafters, which was impressive smoke. I wouldn't expect more of the like community players to know that smoke. So it was a nice play from them taking the site. Karma's going to take down Bent Nerds. Kevin gets the headshot onto Brian Spray. So, yeah, definitely a textbook take from Hell's Gamers, the kind of thing I usually see when I'm watching pro teams play. So looks like they've been uh, practicing that one for a while, probably saving it for this game. And they're going to go up 13-8, coming into round 22, and that's going to put Reflex Gamers on an eco. So this could put Hell's Gamers up 14-8. to eight. And at that point, you start to wonder, does Reflex have what it takes, or is the nail already sunk into that coffin? So five sevens across the board here for Reflex Gamers heading into this 22nd round. 13-8 as Hell's Gamers is stringing rounds together here over Reflex. And we're going to have to see what they can do here. As Bomb will be down over a minute as they're just looking for picks it seems. And that's going to be a pick for Kevin there. Very nice AK headshot into Icarus. He's looking for a second. Can he get it? He's going to get dinked down to 4 HP. Trying to get dark over there. It's that nade. Two nades. It's going to take him down to 8 HP. But not before he does a lot of damage to Queasy. Taking him down to 52. And they're going to be waiting there by Z. And that's going to be great kills by them with those 5-7s. And it's down to a 3-on-2 here. Perfect opportunity for 
uh, Reflex Gamers here. And oh, what a beautiful shot there by Praying Spray. It's down to a one on one here, and they're going to be battling now in Z off versus AK. And the AK is going wow. to win. And that's going to be a round for Reflex Gamers. Yeah, quite a round there from Reflex, too. And a uh, misplay, uh, like, across the board from Hell's Gamers. They knew those players were there in Z Connector, and they just kept taking duels. And that is such a tight area to take on a 5.7 or a P250 or a CZ. You never want to get that close to those pistols because their clip is, like, infinite. I know that the CZ recently buffed again, strong as it always was. The only thing that's changed is pretty much the money. P250 has always been gold. 5.7 is just a little hand cannon. You can just unload that gun. And you just have all the bullets in the world to do it. So I don't know why they would decide to take those duels. They did come out the losers there. Koth, though, starting things out nicely here. Dropping Prey and Spray, the big man from last round who got that clutch. Queasy is going to take down Icarus with the Tech 9. Koth, though, at 1 HP. Queasy at 28. Karma of Pain at 49. Giants at, at 43. Man, they are lit across the board. They have four players with sub-50 HP. And I wonder how much they would even have if you added it all up. It's just a, a matter of a couple nades could take them down here. Dark's gonna push in aggressively. Get one, get two, get three. Finally taken down by Queezy. And it's now a one versus two. Koth and Queezy. Oh my gosh. And it's White Thunder with nine HP versus Koth sitting on one HP. And Koth, look at him. He is creeping up mid here with this AK. And he has everything he needs to take down White Thunder. So it's a matter of whether or not White Thunder is going to take out of his position. Where is he hiding here? I can't spot him out. Why can't I spot out White Thunder? There he is. He's playing over by CP, and he's going to come out the loser of that battle. Caught a big play for him there with one HP. Wow. That was quite a round. A lot of flip-flopping, a lot of damage done across the board. Hell's Gamers somehow takes it by the skin of their teeth, and quite literally there, Koth... The last man standing, one health point. The literal lowest amount of HP you can have in this game. And he's the only man standing. A total of 10 HP between the players. But that's a big round for uh, Hell's Gamers. Gonna put Reflex again onto this awkward force buy. As they're trying to prevent that 15th round win for Hell's Gamers. And it's gonna be another B take here from Hell's Gamers. And they're storming the site pretty quickly here. Koth finds that man behind the box. That was Bentner. It's Kevin with the P90 able to get that recoil under control. Takes down Brain Spray. Molly's gonna rain out on the vents. And they are definitely executing this nicely. But the flank? Is that a flank from. Uh... No, it is not. It's just they came in through CT. So multiple kills coming in through CT. Dark in the back of the site with a 5 7. And an MP9. He's gonna try and hold off this site as there's three up right now. But the flank from Hell's Gamers here. Giant's gonna catch White Thunder up in heaven. Icarus trades him out. Dark taken down by Karma of Pain, and it's Icarus and Koth and Karma of Pain. A one versus two here, and this is a huge round. Reflex cannot afford to lose this round. He's gonna go for that shot. Can't get the recoil under control. Gets traded out by Karma sitting in the checkerboard, so a nice play there, getting that crossfire from Hell's Gamers, and that is another eco here coming for Reflex. That force buy in the last round really damaged their economy. They're gonna get whatever they can. They wanna try and prevent this game loss, but it looks like at this point, Hell's Gamers is gonna come out the victor. 16 to nine on cash, so a nice game from them. Definitely, so 15 to nine, your scoreline. Hell's Gamers sitting on match point as we head into the 25th round here on cash. And again, Reflex Gamers just buying up whatever they can, scrounging together a Deagle, two Deagles, a couple five sevens, and a FAMAS, as they're hoping for magic here as they head into this round. And the bomb is going to be down over by the A bomb sites outside uh, A main, as they are one in squeaky, one in A main, and it looks like someone that we have for Hell's Gamers, somebody pushed up mid here, and I'm going to go ahead and find them. And that's going to be Kevin the Kid here, pushed up in mid. And he's going to go ahead and peek around here, peeking towards the A-bomb site. Dark is going to go ahead and find one with a FAMAS, but he's going to get dropped Whoa. by Kevin's beautiful AK headshot. As uh, one member left for Hell's Gamers is on the, actually two members. One is by Forklift here. And Queezy's going to find one also. And they're going to be making, he's going to find a second as they have control of the a bomb site here Kevin the kids gonna find another Sweet. and Koth is gonna take that game to a close here 16 9